In this video, I'll show you how to get started on our website project and to how to create the first three core pages that will make up my project. So uh, I chose to use CIS 150 as the topic of my website and I just opened uh, Composer. I will start by saving the first page and uh, I'm asked for the page title. So I'll just call it CIS 150 and you can uh, give this page uh, the appropriate title to your subject. Next, I'm asked to produce the name of the file. But before I do that, I want to create a folder that will be dedicated to my project. This is very important to have a single folder that will contain all the resources for my website, which will make publishing of this website much easier. So I right click on this area here and I'll go to New, folder and I'll call it uh, CAS 150 website and now I'll create my file inside of this folder and the requirement of the project is to have a file here called index.html now notice that in uh, the basic configuration of Windows the extensions, so the .html is actually hidden. So we can't put .html here or our file will end up with index.html.html. So index is going to be the first file and we'll say save to this. So this is my first page. Now it's time to create the second page. I'll do that by just going to new and then saving this page because my uh, subject matter is CS150. Word is going to be my uh, title for the second page. But the name actually I will continue as index2. So I'll have index file, the index2, and index3. And so this is how I will call my physical files. Now the titles can be something different. Um, the idea that uh, the files need to be fairly short uh, is important because they will be part of our um, links and uh, it's fairly important to keep these uh, straightforward without any spaces in the naming so we'll just call them index, index2 and index3. Let's save this file and create the third one. My third file is going to be called Excel. We'll say OK to that and uh, instead of giving a name Excel, we'll go ahead and call it index3. And as my creative process continues, um, I may not simply have Excel on this page, I may grow it. So keeping the names of the files as generic as possible makes pretty good sense at this point. So right now, in my folder, I have three pages. Now these pages have the extensions hidden. All right, so they actually are called uh, uh, they actually are called index.html. All right, if we look at this, the file extension is .html. All right, let's continue in Composer. In Composer now, I'm going to create uh, a basic layout of my first page, and uh, within the first page, I will have some sample text. So I'll say welcome to CS150 at GBSU. Now because it's fairly difficult to come up with text, I'm going to use a trick that web designers use, and that is I will create a few paragraphs of random text. To do that, I will navigate in Firefox to a website uh, which produces Latin text, which means nothing, but it's a filler. And that's exactly what I need right now as I am still in my creative process. So I generate five paragraphs of random text, okay? And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, copy this text, right, like so, and uh, paste it onto my page. All right, looks great. So I have five paragraphs of random text on this page. And my second page will be um, 
this is going to work. Going to work. And then uh, this is going to excel. And so this is going to give a good start to my site. Notice that when pages are changed and yet not saved, there's a red disk that appears as a little icon next to my file. So I have to press the Save button to go ahead and uh, save the files. At this point, I have a really good start on my website. I have three pages that will hold my content. I save these pages into a single folder and I'm ready to continue with adding some images, adding a menu, uh, creating links that will, that will generate emails and all the other requirements that our website project has. See you in the next video.